Dawson Rider here, vlog time. It seems like it's a little early for this, but it might not be. I think this is February's vlog. Um, but I felt like doing a vlog because I felt like I did need to give some updates on some things. Um, I still might do another one in a couple weeks, um, after, which actually might end up going into March, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna do another one when my next Omiyami box gets here, because that will hopefully have Tokyo stuff in it. I really hope I don't have the curse I did with this year's stuff and I'm able to get the Mech and Changer, but it will at least have the um, Sentai Vinyls and the little change figures, so it'll at least be some Chuck Uger stuff. I've, I'm guaranteed that, but hopefully it'll have the main stuff. But anyway, I'm going to be no doing another vlog for that in a few weeks, but for this one, it's kind of a different one. I don't have like a main box to unbox. In fact, I already did it. It's actually a CS Toys box, and it's one of the main reasons I want to do an update, so I guess I'll go over that first. So from CS Toys, I got a bunch of Rider Locks. Um, I've been kind of mulling over purchases for a while, Initially, before Gaim started, I was like, I don't want to do this whole old series in the new gimmick thing. It's getting old. And then lock seats happened, and they're kind of amazing. Um, I still actually need to get the movie set ones. Uh, I need to track those down. But I've been mulling over purchases for a while. I was kind of waiting for them to have a good chunk, because um, I didn't want to just order, like, two. So as a result, I missed, like, Ankh and something else. I think I missed Beast, but I'm having Oki look for that for me. But anyway... Um, I finally ordered a bunch from them. I don't get to order from them as much as I, um, I used to, but it's always really nice when I do. They have, like, the best service, and Mr. S is, like, the coolest guy ever. But, anyhow, so I got a bunch of them. I've got Candy Toy Agito, which he looks really cool, and Agito's my favorite, so pretty excited for that. Um, Candy Toy Fies. Um, and the rest are Gashapons. I'm just gonna kind of go in whatever order. Uh, I got Gashapon Momotaros. They're in their little bags. I have to assemble them still. Um... Gashapon Blade, another favorite of mine. Mind? Well, Gashapon Ryuki. Um, Gashapon Kiva, which I'm really excited about, another favorite of mine. Um, these are all Gashapon, so I don't know why I keep saying it, but Kabuto. Um, Decade. And. Uh, Ankh. Um, I mean, uh, Osada Door. I was thinking. Uh, I need Ankh, and I think there's another one I'm missing out of the ones I wanted to get. Um, like I said, I really wanted Beast. Like, I don't even have it yet. It's like my favorite lock seed, the fact that this is Mr. Mayonnaise. So I asked Oki to look for one for me, so hopefully that will be in my next Oki box, if you can find one. So I'm pretty excited about these. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm getting every single lock seed ever that comes out, but I'm getting a lot more than I thought, because I seriously love this gimmick. But anyway, um, I did get quite a bit of questions, um, like on YouTube and on AskFM actually, about whether I was getting these and what I was going to do about reviews. And I really wasn't sure, because, you know, in the past, if you followed me, you know, when I used to review, when I would review, like, the Guy Memory Gashapon or Candy Toy sets or, like, the O-Metal ones, I would pretty much always buy them as a set. So I would just put it up, like, oh, Gashapon set, Metals 5 review, or um, Candy Toy Memory set, whatever. Um, but in this case, I'm kind of randomly buying. So, I think what I'm going to do is just make a short video for each of them, and it's almost going to act more as like a demo. I'm not trying to steal like Xeron's thing or anything, but I was thinking about this, and the reviews for the individual lock seeds I've been doing are almost like demos anyway, because they all relatively function the same. They're all the same sort of quality, and it's just really up to you whether you like the sounds. Like the Kiwi and the Mango lock seed are the same exact quality, but if you don't like the way it says Kiwi, then you're not going to want to get it. So, for these, I thought it'll just be a really quick video. Um, it's not going to be like one of those mute videos where I don't have any voice. Because that would just seem like it's not my style. It'll just be a quick video, sort of like the Loxy reviews, but maybe a smidge shorter. I'll show what it looks like, show the sounds, show it the driver, maybe show it in the... Um, oh, what do you call that thing? The sword. Muso Saber. There we go. And then just be done. It'll be fairly quick. Um, I think the review the, might be five minutes at the longest. So I think that's what the plan is. If you really don't like that and you're outraged by it, feel free to leave a comment. Or if you like the idea, just let me know. But that's the plan for right now, is I'll just shoot a short little, essentially a demo for these, just showing off what they do. And they will just sort of alternate between regular videos. Um, since they're so short, like on you know, Monday, you might see a regular review of a Gaim thing or a Power Rangers thing, and then on Tuesday the upload would be a short little three minute Taja door review, and then just intermingle them. So I think that's the plan for these. Because um, there were some people that wanted to see them, and 
it would be weird to be like, review of some of set three of this. So, yeah, they'll just be short little videos. That's the plan for these right now. Let me know either way. Um, unless I get, like, riots on my hands for whatever reason, uh, that's the plan for these. Um, as for other reviews, um, I do have an Oki box on the way that unfortunately does not have Beast in it. Um, it's got the Wizard Ring Final Hope set, um, Blade King form SHF, and uh, SHF Hurricane Blue, Yellow, and the Go Rider set. That should be here, because um, this is being recorded on a Thursday, but it's probably not going up till roughly a Saturday. But it should be here tomorrow from my timeline. Um, either tomorrow, it'll be in the, if it's not here in the next few days, it'll be here next week. So, um, those are reviews to look out for. I'll probably put up the Sentai ones first, but we'll see. Because I still have some old Rider ones I haven't even put up. If you haven't noticed, figure out to take a little bit of backseat in the review department. But those reviews will be on the way. So that's here. Um, there's no Ami Ami Ami. I said Ami a million times. Ami 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 Ami. I just started repeating. There's no Ami Ami stuff on the way at the moment. Like I said, the next box should be the Tokyo box, which has also got a Cherry Lock Seed. I still need to secure Peach. But that will be in a few weeks. Um, the last Ami Ami box I got was actually a, a solo dot blaze. Um, because I, I usually get those. I mean, obviously I love collecting the damn ball things, but they always make really good stall tactics if I'm waiting for something. And I think it's funnier than hell that like I'll usually wait to order model kits I want so that I can stall a box while waiting for a toku item but like this time it backfired and I had to ship the damn ball kit by itself so uh, that's not really important because I don't review them I just thought it was funny but so yeah look forward to those um, figures from the Oki box which I'm not going to do vlog for uh, these intermingled um, and uh, I think that's about it um, upcoming reviews there's a few little Power Rangers things that have been spotted uh, that will be out when I find them um, what else? Um, I reviewed Bragigas. Um, ideally that will go up in the next few days. Um, I'm planning on reviewing Mach Alkin. He's over there. Um, the plan is to review him. If, if it really doesn't work out for my review space, I might have to put it off. But the plan is to, like, put Bragigas and Mach Alkin up back to back. Um, so those are gonna be coming soon. Um, I put up, uh, you probably noticed, I put up a random Tenkai Knights review. Um, I've really been wanting to buy those for a while because I think the concept is really neat. Like, it really gets my inner seven-year-old. Um, but, uh, I decided to do it for fun. It, it didn't do hugely well, but it did well enough that I'm just going to review a couple more. I'm not necessarily saying this might be a regular thing for my channel, but there was uh, some people that wanted to see, um, a couple others. So, um, when I pick those up in the next week or so, maybe, I'll review them. I'm not exactly sure when they'll go up, but, um... Don't worry, I'm not, like, changing and, like, reviewing a bunch of different stuff now and going away from Toku. I'm just trying a couple different things, maybe, um, you know, make up for the slight absence of Ben 10. I don't know. But, um, it's not going to be that huge of a deal. It's just a couple extra things I'm going to do. I was planning on picking them up anyway, so it's more like a... That's kind of why I did the Tenkai Night. I'm like, oh, I wonder how this will do. It'd be kind of fun to record. Uh, I was going to buy it anyway, so that's what that is. I think there was something else I was going to do that was a, a, like an off-genre thing, but I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I'm um, just kind of expect all that fun stuff. Um, like I said, expect these sort of intermingle. The idea um, is to hopefully do it every other upload. Um, the next few reviews should be PR and some, some Sentai stuff I'm catching up on. Um, I do need to upload. I have the AC figures. Uh, so they're really old now. Uh, the Zangetsu and the... The writer set, the writer, Legend Rider set, those take a little longer to edit because I'm doing stupid photo montages for them again. Um, so I have to go through and like put the photos in. And it sounds like it's really easy, but it's just, it's kind of tedious because I just have to put the photos in and label stuff. But anyway, so expect reviews. I'm trying to, to chug them out and whatnot. Um, I think that's about it for this vlog. Um, you know, keep on keeping on. I don't know where I'm going with this now. I'm just getting weird. We okay, expect another vlog in a few weeks. Keep watching the reviews, subscribe, comment, like, thanks for the support and all that stuff. Check out the RR podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. Um, I'll go. And I, I just, I guess I'll go. Or sh should you go? Well, this is my room. You, you guys should probably go.